I am getting sick of all that flap, flap, flapping. Not to mention all the retention that is inherent to having a dozer based grinder. However, this Mazer Mini really is an excellent grinder and you can find them on the used market for extremely cheap, especially if they do have the dozer on there because most people don't want these anymore. The dozer is great in a cafe setting when you're going through a whole lot of coffee, but for home use, it is not only not ergonomic, it also has way too much retention so that you're gonna have a lot of stale coffee in here. So the point of today's video is really twofold. First of all, I would like to replace this dozer with this funnel on the Mazer Mini. And I'd like to just talk about 3D printing in general and how it can be beneficial to your coffee needs. So let's go ahead and remove this dozer and put on the funnel. Okay, before we go further, one thing that I wanted to mention is that I got this funnel here from Thingiverse, or the design for it anyway, and I was able to print this without having to buy a 3D printer myself. I actually was able to go to our local library and print it on their 3D printer there. So don't despair, if you don't have a 3D printer yourself, check your local library or libraries in your area and see if they might have a 3D printer that you can use. So let's go ahead and install this. Okay, so first of all, of course, make sure that your unit is unplugged before you do anything else. We're going to remove the cap and expose these two Phillips screws here. Just remove those two Phillips screws holding on the top of the dozer. And I would suggest vacuuming all, all these extra grinds in there to make the process a little bit more clean. Okay, now that we've done that, we can take our flat bladed screwdriver and get the two screws here on the bottom. These are very long screws. Okay, now we've got the dozer removed. So hopefully this funnel is a good fit and it does look pretty good. We'll put the two bottom screws on first. Just put them into place lightly. It's good to have a nice long screwdriver for this. Okay, let's put in then the top two Phillips screws. And I would definitely suggest not over tightening because these 3D prints, they are a bit fragile. So don't over tighten by any means. It's as simple as that. We're going from with the dozer to dozerless. All right, so now we have got our funnel mounted onto our Mazer Mini. And I do think it looks nicer like that. Let's do our final test and see how it grinds through the funnel into our porter filter. Way nicer. Now, there are a couple more things that I would suggest getting, which are also on Thingiverse a funnel for your porta filter, and also a bellows to go here on top to make sure to get all the beans out so that you've got much less retention. And those are two more things you can find for just about any espresso machine or grinder. So I hope that this video was helpful for you. And if so, please give it a like and check out my other videos. If you like what you see, subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. Until next time, I say happy coffee drinking and happy espresso drinking. Bye now.